But still, so many of you are struggling to even get an appointment for a shot. We've seen so many of your texts to us expressing just how frustrated you are. 10 Tampa Bay's Josh Shadorowitz actually talked to a man who said he's been trying and failing for at least four weeks to get his 82-year-old wife an appointment. But finally, he was able to get through tonight. For weeks now, Paul Harder has been trying to get his 82-year-old wife Maria in for a COVID shot near where they live in Spring Hill. He's had no luck, he says, with Publix and CVS and early on had issues trying to use the county portal too. Most of the days I sit in front of my computer for two hours watching the timer kick, tick down. Where they're at in Hernando, the vaccination rate for seniors is lagging, at least when you compare it to other counties. 43% have gotten at least one dose, but it was even worse two weeks ago when the governor was there for this very reason. Hernando County was in the bottom five uh, of percentages of seniors that have been vaccinated in the state of Florida. So we said we're going to do something about it. It's just ridiculous. Paul's wondering why he's still waiting. Oddly enough, during our FaceTime, Hernando's Department of Health tweeted that there were still slots available for this coming Wednesday. Let me give you this number. So for the next 40 minutes, I got a front row seat. Can I do that over the phone? To why Paul and so many others say they've been so frustrated. I mean, I'm trying to just get scheduled for it. He was told he couldn't do it over the phone. So I need to go ahead and hang up with you and go ahead and go to that. See, another hoop to jump through. But after about a half hour online. I'm not sure what to do with this. And a few speed bumps. Looks like we finally got her booked at an appointment. It's a, it's a fairgrounds in Hernando County. Success. And it's thanks to you, sir. He helped us through this. How, how does that feel? <laughs> Pretty good. I, you got my wife smiling, too. Josh to the rescue, man. And you could see just how happy they were. And obviously, Josh was able to help out Paul because of that tweet. It's actually a good idea for you to follow your local health departments on Facebook and Twitter. They will typically send out vaccine updates right away, like you saw Hernando did this afternoon. We're also keeping tabs on where you can get the vaccine. Right now, it looks like the Tampa Greyhound site has plenty of appointments available. That site is one of the former FEMA-supported sites in our state.